Hello classmates, welcome, welcome back to yet another lesson. So today we are still working with a previous paper and we'll be looking uh, into area. We are going to be working with area today and we have a question with me right here that says invitation cards for the party are in a rectangular shape with a circular photo of the birthday girl in the middle of the invitation card and dimensions as shown below so as you can see over there uh, we have been shown the diagram of the invitation card that shows that it is going to have a circular photo placed on the middle of it so the question says calculate the area of the invitation card without the photo Give your final answer to the nearest millimeter squared. You may use the following formula. So as you can see over there, we've been given the formula to calculate the area of the invitation card and the formula to calculate area of the circular photo as well. And before we can start, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. So we are going to use those two formulas to find the answer. We are going to start with the invitation card. We are going to calculate area of the invitation card. And the formula says area equals to length multiplied by width. This is the area that has been given to us over there. So all we need to do is just to substitute and get the answer. So um, the length of the invitation card, as, you, as we can all see, is... 15 centimeters and we are going to multiply it by the width which is 12 centimeters so we're going to click this on the calculator and it'll give us the area of the invitation card so it's 15 centimeters multiplied by 12 centimeters and that gives us 180 centimeters squared so this is the area of the invitation card so remember uh, over there on the formulas, we have been given two formulas to calculate area of the invitation card and area of the photo. So we have calculated area of the invitation card and now what's left of us to do is to calculate the area of the photo. So the formula says that area equals to uh, area of photo equals to pi multiply by radius multiply by radius. So even on this one, all we need to do is just to substitute and then get the answer. So pi, as we all know, pi equals to 3,142 multiply by radius. So now let's go back to the dimensions of uh, the invitation card and the circular photo in the middle of it. So as you can see over there, we do not have the radius, but instead we have been given the diameter. And as we all know, if you have been given the diameter, in order for you to find the radius, you need to take the diameter and divide it by two. So we're just going to put it here on the equation and say into brackets and say um, eight centimeters, which is the diameter and divide it by two. So eight divided by two will give us the radius. So uh, it's pi, which is three common for two multiplied by radius, multiplied by another radius. And we're also going to do the same thing and say eight centimeters divide by two so now we are going to work with the brackets and the three common for two will just remain as it is multiply by eight centimeters divide by two we all know it equals to four centimeters and then this one it is also going to be four centimeters so now um we can click the whole thing on the calculator and because we have the pi we have the radius and we have the other radius so it is going to be 3,142 multiplied by 4 multiplied by another 4 and it gives us a total of 50,272 centimeters squared so now we have the area of the invitation card, which is 180 centimeters. And we also have area of the circular photo that will be placed on the middle of the invitation card, which is 50,272 centimeters squared. And remember, the question was telling us to calculate the area of the invitation card without the circular photo so this means that we are going to take the area of the invitation card and subtract area of the circular photo in order for us to be left with only just the area of the invitation card so we're going to say therefore 180 centimeters which is the area of the invitation card subtract 50 comma 272 
centimeters squared which is the area of the circular photo so we're going to click this on the calculator to see the area of the invitation card so it's going to be 180 minus answer that gives us a total of 129,728 centimeters squared so this is the area of the invitation card without the photo but then remember the question was also telling us that our answer should be given uh, our final answer should be to the nearest millimeters squared and as you can see here our answer is in centimeters squared so this means that we have to do what we have to convert from centimeters squared all the way to millimeters squared so please uh, listen to this part very carefully i am what i'm about to explain is very important so since we are converting centimeters squared to millimeters squared we are converting the area we are converting the area i know that when we convert from centimeters to millimeters we multiply by 10 right so this is how we're supposed to do it we're just supposed to take it and multiply by 10 but because we are converting centimeter squared to millimeter squared this means that we are going to multiply by 10 squared like what what you guys need to know is that every time you are converting area you have to put square on whichever units that you have to use in order to make the conversion you need to put the square because we are working with the area and as we all know area should always be written in squared as you can see i've written it in squares everywhere where i have written it so area since it is always supposed to be written in squared even when we convert we supposed to do what to put the squared on the calculator so we're going to say 129 comma 728 multiply by 10 squared and that gives us a total of 1200 and no it's 12972,8 millimeters squared so this is the answer but it is not our final answer because they said that we should give our final answer to the nearest millimeter squared so this means that we have to do what we have to round it up so it is going to be 12973 millimeters squared this is our final answer it is the area of the invitation card without the secular picture or the secular photo on the middle of it this is our final answer and now we're going to the next question which is question 2.2.2 one of the guests buys a gift that is packaged in a rectangular box as shown below she must wrap the gift with gift wrapping paper as you can see over there we have been shown the diagram of the rectangular box that the gift will be packed inside and we've also been given the dimensions of the box which is the length the width and the height so the question says calculate the total area of the paper that is needed for wrapping the box in centimeters squared you may use the formula so this one is literally one of the easiest questions because you have been given the formula and you've been given all the dimensions all you need to do is just to write the formula and substitute and get the answer so that is exactly what we're going to do we have been given the formula to calculate the surface area of the gift box and it says surface area of the gift box equals to two and then inside brackets you're going to say length multiply by width plus width multiplied by height plus length multiplied by height this is the formula that has been given to us what's needed of us to do is just to um to substitute on the formula and get the answer so that is exactly what we're going to do two and then into brackets our length over there is 390 centimeters uh, multiply by the width which is 270 centimeters plus the width again which is 270 multiply by the height which is 300 plus length which is 390 multiply by what multiply by the height which is 300 
okay let me see if i did uh, things correctly so it's a uh, length it's 390 centimeters multiply by width which is 270 multiply i mean plus width which is 270 multiply by height which is 300 plus length which is 390 multiply by height which is 300 yes and then what we can do now is uh, work on the brackets so it's two so it's a uh, 390 multiply by 270 plus 270 multiply by 300 plus 390 multiply by 300 that gives us a total of uh, 300 and 3300 centimeters squared okay so uh, we're going to click this on the calculator and say two and then into brackets put the answer and that gives us six hundred and six thousand six hundred centimeters squared and this is our final answer so this is uh, the amount of paper that they should buy in order to wrap that uh, box that the gift will be wrapped inside or will be packed inside so this is how we work with area and this is how we work with surface area so um just to wrap up everything uh, the most important information in this video was the part of converting area please i'm going to repeat it when you convert area it doesn't matter whether you have to multiply or to divide whichever units you are going to use you need to put a squat for instance when you're converting from millimeters to centimeters millimeter squared to centimeter squared I know that what you have to do is that you have to divide by 10 but when it comes to area you you're going to do what you're going to divide by 10 squared always when you're working with area and you have to convert whichever units you use as long as you're converting area the final answer of area you have to put the squared here and if we were talking about the volume you were going to put what you're going to put a cube it was going to be 10 cube i don't know if this makes sense but i hope that you guys understand what i'm trying to explain here and i hope that from now on you guys will not make any mistakes when you encounter such questions and you will always get them correct so this is how we were supposed to do it thank you so much for watching this video i really hope it was helpful may goodness and grace lead you to the great heights of success